Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined right now by the John Candy. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for taking the time out to do this. Uh, for those that may not know who you guys are, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are, if you'd like to share, and plug and promote anything and everything. Yeah, sure. So I guess, first of all, can you guys hear us okay? Yes. Yep. Yes, we did it. We did it. Success. Um, yeah, so we're in Southern California, uh, Orange <laughs> County. That's where we come from. I'm Brandon. I'm the singer. Uh, I'm Eric. Eric's our producer and live backup vocalist. And uh, and I don't know. What else do you want to know? First of all, pleasure to meet you, BG. Thanks for having us, man. It is an absolute pleasure. I actually live in Southern California also, so we'll we'll talk off stream about maybe linking up and you know promoting each other and whatnot. And uh, if you're down. And, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, what, first, what's all the social media links? Or someone may not know your guys' band. Where can they follow you and hit the sub button? Sure, yeah. So we're, we're very fortunate. We've been lucky. We've been able to secure the John Candy pretty much everywhere. So we're on Twitter, at the John Candy, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I think literally the only place we haven't secured is thejohncandy.com because there's a Brazilian band called the John Candy. That what? owns the domain. <laughs> and I've been trying for like, dude, I've been trying for now seven years to try to get the domain, but they renew every year. <laughs> that is crazy. What are the chances of that? First uh, yeah. first question I have for you guys is uh, just an obvious one. You're probably tired of answering it, but uh, A, what is the best John Candy movie ever made? And why did you pick that as the band name? Oh, that's and the first one's easy. I mean, we, we I don't think we have different answers. Uh, my favorite is Uncle Buck. Yeah, yeah. This dude, it's it's, it's perfect. Classic. It's, it's classic. Fully coked as a kid in it. Um, his every time his stupid car drives around with like the insane exhaust, like it kills me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And then sorry, what was the other question? Or did you catch? Why did you Why did you pick that as the band name? Oh yeah. Do you want to take that or should I go? I mean, so Brent, who's not here. Brent's uh, our bass player. We used to play in a uh, we used to play in a band together and just as a joke, we were like, hey, but I don't know, back in the day there were all these bands like, you know, you had like the Locust, Mateau, like they weren't like joke bands, but they were it was like a joke, if you you know what I'm saying. And we just thought it'd be funny to have a band that was all jo the characters in the band were all John Candy characters wearing like an outfit from his movies. The, the, the lyrics would be just all John Candy quotes for movies. And that's where the initial idea was born. Yeah. And that was back in like, literally back in like 2005. I mean, we, we, we the Genesis of the band was a long, long time ago. And uh, we had another metalcore band we were playing in. Um, and this was kind of like just a side thing. And that metal war band like never went anywhere. We got to play some sick shows. We got to play at the Showcase Theater in Corona with like Caliban and the Acacia Strain, um, Light This City. We got to play like some really cool shows. But it never really went anywhere. And then we kind of like band stuff fizzled out for us. And then maybe around like 2017, Eric hits me up and he goes, hey, um, I've been working on this new music. Like, tell me what you think. And like, he just blew my mind immediately because, like, he was just randomly, like, sampling guitars from other hardcore bands because um, Eric had a bunch of experience at that point in, like, electronic music. Mm -hmm. And so his production skills, like, just got crazy. And <laughs> it, he hates when I talk about it in a complimentary <laughs> no, way, but I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. That was... If you listen to how you first started, they, they sounded horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I saw the idea. Like, it was there. And... uh it got me really excited and it just sounded so different than anything I'd heard. And like, especially the way that he was crafting this stuff. And so we just kind of developed it from there. And like, even like the mask that we wear with, with the eye and everything that just came from like back in 2005, I just made a random, the John Candy logo. And I thought it would be funny to make him look like the Terminator. So I took my John Candy's face. I blacked out half of it in Photoshop and put a little red light. And uh, it just kind of,
That is crazy cool. Even though it says Gypsy on the screen, this is my homie Matt. He's in a band called Scarlet and Harmony. He's my co-host today. Matt, do you have a hey, question Matt. for uh, for the gentleman? Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, so you guys use a lot of samples in your music. Have you ever gotten in any kind of like trouble doing that? Had any backlash? Yeah, that, I think that's the like as things have been kind of popping off for us, especially in the last month. That tends to be the number one question we get, and we've known since day one that if this ever went anywhere, that would be the number one question, and it would also most likely be the downfall of the band, um, because yeah, we, we don't have permission for anything we use. We're just a tiny little band that just does this for fun. Like This isn't like, our, we have careers outside the band, Like we just do this as a fun hobby, because we love music, we love art, we love expressing ourselves in this way, and so we were just like, you know, we're tiny. No one cares. There's no money to be made off of us. So let's just do this and see where it goes. And now it's kind of getting crazier than I think we could have ever anticipated it would get. Yeah, um, the, the latest singles it, absolutely like exploding. Yeah, no, it's been insane. It's like uh, the the world's a vampire. Is it like collectively over two million views on TikTok? Like it's it's friggin' insane. And uh, but it's funny because like we just look at it as like we're doing this like parody like Weird Al Yankovic. Like we don't. Like we pitch shift, we cut things, we reverse things. Um, we don't use a lot of vanilla samples. Um, like you know, we're no like sample, you know, legal experts or anything like that. But my point is, if anything ever happens, like somebody gets pissed about our sampling, uh, they like send a cease and desist or something, that'll probably be the end of the band. Like we have no desire to like fight anything or try, like you know try to make money off this. Like that's not our interest or anything like that. So. Hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but hey, you never know. <laughs> to to follow up on that, of all the people that you guys have sampled, who who is one that would just like your your jaw would hit the floor if like Fleetwood Mac Estate hits you up? Like, what's the one artist of all the samples you use that you just be like, I can't f a believe it. <laughs> uh, dude, I don't even know. Um, like that's a, I mean Fleetwood Mac's yeah. a pretty friggin' big one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Cause like Edge of Seventeen, that's like one of my favorite songs of all time. <laughs> <laughs> my wife too. Uh, well, even like beyond that, oh, what was I thinking about too? Um, like, I, I don't think obviously we don't have like sign off from like John Candy's family or anything like that. But um, oh. like I've I've very like briefly talked to Chris, uh, John's son. Um, actually, they're um, one of John's nephews. Uh, he lives in Canada still. Uh, he just discovered us recently and messaged me, and he goes like, "Who the fuck is sampling John and like put putting his name on their <laughs> band, co-opting it?" And then and then he was like, "Dot dot dot." But then I listened and I'm into it. So you guys you guys kind of have my approval. So that was pretty sick. That was um, cool. I haven't talked to Jen, his daughter. But I follow them all. Um, so I feel like we don't have sign off, but like I think they know who we are at least to some extent. So that's kind of cool. Like that in and of itself is cool. Is there is there a place to purchase a mask or or merch or is that kind of the we're not trying to make money off of it but maybe you have yeah, like so merch you can get um, we have if you go to our like, especially like our Instagram we have like a it's not a link tree but it's like a basically like a link that has links to all of our stuff our merch stores in there we try to make the margins tiny like I don't know because like it's through Teespring so it's like we make like a couple bucks per shirt and we don't sell that much as is right we smell like i don't know we sell like two shirts a month maybe if that um but yeah so yeah we do have we do have a merch store uh yeah well we love you guys and let's see what we're talking about here this is the one that's blowing up all over tiktok the world is a vampire oh, excuse me. <laughs> videos and everything also oh yeah i like we're a very much a one-stop shop like eric produces all the music Pretty much everything else is me. Like I make the music videos, I shoot them, I direct them, I do the visual effects, like you name it. Hell yeah. Now, did you guys get my message about the hot sauce? Oh yeah. He's got yes. Uh, we don't have very exciting hot sauce, except for maybe El Yucateco. So this one's pretty spicy. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we got some tapatio and some sriracha. <laughs> let's go the spiciest one. I've got about 13 of my friends right here. But the cool thing is, you guys get to pick the trivia. Now, I mean, it's going to take me a minute to look at the trivia, so I'm going to kick it to Matt in a second to ask another question. But before I do, what movie or TV show 
have you guys seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, oh, one or the other. We're good at this. Um, so we've got two different ones. Well, what's yours? Oh, mine would be like Seinfeld. Well, we you know, you know what we should do, though? Because we'll both know it is Dumb and Dumber. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Dumb and Dumber heard. Matt, take it away. Ask a question or two. Let me look up some Dumb and Dumber trivia. All right, so as a uh, vocalist, like you said you were the vocalist, right? Yeah. All right, making sure I didn't get confused there. Right. So yeah. as the vocalist, like, how long have you personally been doing vocals to get to where you are now? Oh, damn. Yeah, I mean, it's been probably, I first started trying to scream, I would say, eighth grade. I was like 14. Um, you know, I first heard corn and deft tones and slipknot and that got me super into just really heavy like scream heavy music and so i just I, i'm all self-taught like everything i i know I, I taught myself like in recent years i've wanted to up my games so i'm i've been watching tutorials to try to learn like new things to try um but yeah it's, it's all self-taught and then i got super deep into like metalcore and the deathcore and all that kind of stuff like in, i'd say in the last 10 to 15 years uh, and then, I mean, deathcore is like having a resurgence right now. So like, I'm, I'm working on my gutturals. I love trying to do some lows, some like suicide silence kind of highs. Um, yeah, and it's it's fun. It's like, I've learned like if it doesn't hurt, you're doing it right. If it hurts, you're doing it wrong. Um, that's a big part of it. But I, I have to at least be screaming for a week to be able to record. So I like, I don't have anywhere good to scream. So I got to drive around in my car and scream in the car. Uh, just to do my, you know, my practice, my warm ups, and everything. I'm sure people are looking at me like an absolute maniac. I did the same. But... I did the same. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Looks all the time. Yeah. yeah the best exactly. place to do. You got the windows up. Just bleh, doing yeah, it's it. This thing, exactly. <laughs> it's this thing we all do. I, mean, oh, we dude, record, I, I get that. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we record right here. Like literally, this is the vocal booth where we've recorded yeah. almost all of our vocals, just right in the garage. Oh, Kelly, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, same. I'm looking at my mic now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. In Dumb and Dumber, this is your trivia. <laughs> now, I think it's going to get you guys. Here we go. In Dumb and Dumber, obviously, it's Harry and Lloyd. But what are both of their last names? Oh, Harry Dunbar, Lloyd Chris. Oh! It's technically Harry Dunn, but I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> and it is Lloyd Christmas. Well done. I'm gonna do some Sydney screaming chili sauce. You don't have to do the hot sauce unless you want to join. And the modifier is I have to put it on a toxic cake, toxic waste sour candy. The hot sauce oh. on the candy and eat okay. it and somehow still continue this interview. Uh, gentlemen, what would you say is is goals of 2023 for you personally? Let's just hypothetically say no one ever comes along regarding the sample copyrights. What would you like to achieve the remainder of, of uh, the rest of this year? Um, I, I think, so starting about four months ago, what's really been working for us and we're really enjoying doing is uh, singles. So like we have seen so much more traction doing singles as opposed to EPs and albums. Uh, like it's been a crazy difference and that's kind of following more of like a pop structure. Uh, I think like the way pop artists generally work. Um, and yeah, I, I personally, that's, I'm happy with that. If we release a, a single every, you know, two months and people enjoy it, have a lot of fun with it, that would make me personally happy. I, I my, my goals are, are, are pretty, my bar's set pretty low. I think, I don't know. How do you feel? Oh, I, I, if his bar's low, mine's even lower. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, <laughs> like got me on that one. The the pace we move at, I feel is like the right pace for us as a band. Like that's what keeps it interesting. Like we don't we don't force it. We don't force it. Like you know. Yeah, we don't set expectations on ourselves. We're just like make ourselves happy, enjoy what we're making. Like I think, especially you've seen in the last singles we released with the last three, um, we've gone a, a more dancey direction while still staying staying heavy and. I'm just enjoying watching people dance and enjoy our stuff. Like if you literally look up the world is a vampire and it feels so good on TikTok right now, there's over 400 videos of people just dancing and or vibing to the song. And that for me is super fulfilling. I mean, that's amazing. 
how we okay. oh yeah we do have a small story on, on how this direction started um i'll tell the, the abridged version i guess <laughs> so we flew to philadelphia to play a show about i think a year and a half ago now yeah. um and we noticed during the set filmed by sunny 856 shout out best dude only reason anyone knows who we are we always got to shout him out um <laughs> he's uh He's filming, and I notice he's filming the audience, and I look, and there's these girls, like, twerking during the song. And I and we just, we had the same light bulb moment. Like, we're just like, that is hilarious. This is what I want. I want the smiles on their faces. They're having a great time. I want to see that at any subsequent shows we play. And I want that vibe to come out in every song we make. And that's kind of what's been informing our, our newest direction and what's brought us probably 500x, per, you know, 100 percent growth in what we're, we've been doing that is so cool is there is there any shows that you guys have coming up that you can plug or is that still like work in progress working on no, the live it's show? So, we're, like we're so into the making the music right now we kind of have very little desire to play shows um if we were to play again um it would still probably be you know small intimate like and, yeah we want to play like program and fullerton it's a skate shop we've played there twice it's our favorite spot to play. Like capacity is like 50 people max. And that's like pushing it. And that's just super fun for us. I got a spot in Victorville. That's probably like mm, 110 cap, give or take. Yeah. If that would work yeah. for you guys in the future. Yeah. But uh, let's do, let's do final questions. Matt, uh, what would you say is a final question for, for uh, the John Candy? So, like you guys said, you're just mostly doing it for fun. But like, if there was a chance to take it to the next level and like make this into a full time career, would you guys be interested in that? Um, I think that like the cards would have to be stacked so specifically and in the right way that it feels like it's impossible. But I mean, nothing's impossible, right? So like, maybe. But pro I mean, I would say probably not, honestly, just being brutally honest. Um, but hey, you never know. Like, I never thought we could get to what do we have right now? 62,000 monthly listeners. I never in a million years thought we could get to that. Like we were averaging 400 less than three or four months ago. So that growth has just been crazy. So it starts to make you think, like, could we do something else? Like, I, I, I still don't imagine us leaving our careers for this but again i don't know like hey never say never i don't know what do you think eric <laughs> no i mean i agree i mean unless you hook us up with that kid whose video you were playing earlier uh, i think <laughs> that's the only <laughs> way <laughs> that's the only way i think we'll take this full time he's doing it right <laughs> that's funny you're talking about kai the nine-year-old in australia yeah mm -hmm. yeah he's he's badass he's been making music since he was like five or six years old <laughs> What is that like a year now? <laughs> that's that's, that's just crazy. Now? Yeah, he's uh, he's nine now, so he's been he's already been in the industry for like three <laughs> three or four half. years. But yeah, uh, exactly. half his life. Half his life. <laughs> it's just true, which is crazy. Uh, fellas, I'm gonna leave you with one final question, and I appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out with us. We support you in any way possible. And like I said, yeah. if there's a way that if you are interested in the future, we could align a show regarding local band Smoke Out and uh, the John Candy. That'd be amazing. When it's time, if so. But uh, yeah. my last question for you guys is: of outside of this project, you you said you've played shows before in the past in different different uh, bands and projects. Is there ever a time that somebody in the music industry gave you serious serious advice that you'd like to share with our listeners? As it is called local band smokeout, so there's a lot of smaller time bands watching. Is there a piece of advice that you could share that you believe is is pivotal for a band's growth? Dang, that's a really good question. Um, do you have an answer or should I go? I mean, I was always told that, like, you know, if you're not having fun, then what's the point? Right? Like, like you, you do it because you don't want a regular job. So if this starts to feel like a job, you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, at the same time, it's um, <clears throat> even though, you know, everything that we're doing is, is sampling, that doesn't mean that it doesn't take a fuckload of time. Like, we spend minimum crafting one song and then the video around it, 60 hours plus. That's just on one song. Uh, so my point is like, yeah, it, it kind of tees off what Eric's saying too. Like, have fun, enjoy what you're doing, but but it shouldn't be a chore, right? So it's like, you're going to spend a lot of time on this thing, but it should be worth it to you. And um, 
hey, you know, we, we've been like, we've been doing this like pretty regularly uh, and really putting a lot of energy in it, into it since 2017, right? And now we're in 2023 and we're just now seeing like some pretty crazy traction. Um, that, that's, that's a fair amount of time, right? And we've, we've invested a lot of our personal time into making that happen. Um, think these things don't come easy. Like you might get lucky and you might just pop off or just do the right thing at the right time and meet the right person. But generally that's probably not going to happen. Um, yeah, just have fun, pour your passion into it and eventually you'll find your audience. And I think that's, we've been very fortunate and lucky to really be finding that audience, especially recently. My wife hates it, but. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we love it. Uh, Eric and Brandon, we, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you for spending some time with us. Uh, letting us just chit chat, laugh a little bit. I can't believe I did not stump you. God, damn I take pride. I take pride in the stumps, but, uh, I, I, you guys have definitely seen dumb and dumber more than once for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the John Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much. <laughs>